Welcome back students. In this video, we will be designing 3-bit synchronous up counter and we will be using a JK flip flop. And before we proceed, uh, there are 3 videos that I am recommending you to watch. The first one is the introduction to synchronous counters where we have also basically uh, read some steps which distinguish synchronous counters from asynchronous and we had also designed it for 2 bits and uh, we were using T flip flop in the previous design. Then there is a video number 2 and 3 that I would again recommend you to watch and these videos are basically related to the practical version of this particular design. If uh, suppose we are using an IC of 7476 in the lab, this IC is regarding master slave JK flip flop and if we are asked to basically uh, implement this particular design in the lab. So what are the connections that would be clear once you will be watching this video number 2. And ultimately if suppose you are using a Proteus software on your laptops then how can you practically do it? What are the connections and uh, what is the pathway to basically implement this that has been described in video number 3. So if you will press the I button, you will get the links regarding all three videos which are very important to basically understand this topic from all the dimensions. Now we will uh, start the solution of this given problem where we have been asked to basically design a synchronous up counter and we have to use three bits. Again we know if we, have, if we have to use a number of bits as 3 then the number of states are 2 to the power n that is 2 to the power 3 which makes it 8 and since it is an up counter so your counting would be from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 then we should move back to 0. Then once we have to design it is being given in the question that we have to use JK flip flop only. So let us start designing it and uh, if you will recapitulate the first video regarding introduction to synchronous counters there we have already designed this particular problem with T flip flop. So this design procedure that you can see here we have to repeat it. So we will form a table again where we will write present state followed by next state and followed by flip-flop inputs and since we are using three bits so the number of flip-flops required are also three so we can write it here q2 q1 q0 again q2 plus q1 plus q0 plus which represents the next state and since there are three flip-flops and we are using JK, so there must be J2K2, J1K1 and J0K0. Again, if we see the sequence, it is moving as up counter from 0 to 7. So let us repeat it here. From 0, we are moving to 1 and after 1, we will go to 2 from 2 we are going to 3 from 3 we move to 4 from 4 we move to 5 from 5 we move to 6 and from 6 we move to 7 and while the counting is complete then also we have to see that after 7 you are moving back to 0 so after 7 we are moving back to 0 so this completes my present state and the next state. Now to complete the rest of the table what we must know is a excitation table for JK flip flop. And you must be knowing it already with outputs given we need to find what are the inputs. So there are four possibilities 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1. And if it is a JK flip flop, 0, 0 is 0 cross, 1, 1 is cross 0, 0, 1 is 1 cross, and 1, 0 is cross 1. 
so this table actually is derived from the characteristic table but i will not be telling you here how basically we do it now just look at this table and complete all these columns and again like we have done in the previous case if we want to calculate j2 k2 then we have to look for q2 and q2 plus if we are looking for j1 k1 values we have to see q1 and q1 plus and if you are looking for j0 k0 you had to see at q0 and q0 plus as per this table this is the this is the present state this column is the next state and these are your flip flop input so if it is 2 it is 2 everywhere if it is 1 it is 1 everywhere if it is 0 it is 0 everywhere now we will start filling this table of j2 k2 and i and i would be looking at q2 plus and q2 only so let us start so 0 0 is 0 cross so 0 0 is 0 cross 0 0 is 0 cross then 0 1 0 and 1 0 and 1 is 1 cross then 1 and 1 1 and 1 is cross 0 so I will finish this table and then we will continue in the same way we have to do it for j1 k1 and as well as for j0 k0 and when we look at j1 k1 we have to see q1 plus and q1 only so 0 and 0 is again 0 cross so I will again finish this table so you can see that the table is complete and uh, we have completed all the columns now the next step that uh, we require is a k map and since there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 inputs over here and uh, therefore we need 6 k maps. So let us start with k maps. 